So example one, write a matrix to represent a point or a polygon. So we are going to represent point A in a matrix. Point A on the graph, see, I highlighted it right there in purple. Point A is negative three, zero. So that is what point A is on this coordinate plane. So how would I ever write this in a matrix form? So let's take a look. Well, point A written in a matrix has our two brackets and the negative three goes on top and the zero goes on bottom. So what happened here? We took the x and the y from point A, which was x is negative three and y is zero, and we wrote it vertically. X goes on top and Y goes on bottom. And our letter of the point goes above the coordinates. So that is how you write a point into matrix format. Now let's do the same type of format with this whole entire quadrilateral. Well, in order to write it in a matrix, I need to know what my points are first. So point A is negative 3, 0. Point B is 0, 3. Point C is 2, 1, and point D is negative 1, negative 1. So what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the points one at a time. So I started with point A, then I checked out point B, then point C, and finally point D. So now let's write those in a matrix. So since I have more than one point, the points are going to be listed across the top, A, B, C, D. And then we write the x's on top of each point and the y's on bottom. So point A, negative 3, 0. Point B, 0, 3. Point C, 2, 1. And point D, negative 1, 1. So just a reminder that all the x's are on the top and the y's are on the bottom. So we have now written this quadrilateral in a matrix form. Okie dokie, in example number two we have to add and subtract matrices. So let's look at A. So we are dealing with a 4x4 four four matrix plus another 4x4 four four matrix. So to figure out which elements add to which elements, well, I'm going to highlight in color which ones match up. So top left matches with top left, top right to top right, bottom left to bottom left, and then bottom right to bottom right. Those are the corresponding elements in each matrix. So because we're adding both matrices together, well, we just add the corresponding elements together. So we have 4. I don't know why we use yellow, but we have 4 plus 1. Then the second element would be negative 2 plus 2. The third element would be 2 plus 5. And the fourth element would be negative 3 plus negative 6. So when you add the corresponding elements, they must be in those same exact positions. You cannot just put them wherever you'd like. So finally, simplify each element. You have 5, 0, 7, negative 9, and then close it off. Simple enough? I think so. So in A, just like I mentioned, that when we added the two matrices together, they were both a 2 by 2. And you're probably thinking, what the heck is he talking about? Well, to define your matrix, you're looking at the number of rows, which is 2, and the dimensions be 2 by the number of columns, 2. So the first matrix, matrix right here, I don't know what I'm highlighting right now, there we go, is a 2 by 2, and the second one is also a 2 by 2. So because they have the same exact dimensions, you can add or subtract these two matrices together. So in B, we have a 2 by 1, 2, 3, by 3, and we also have a 2 by 3. So we can add, I'm sorry, we can subtract these two matrices together and proceed. So let's match up our corresponding elements. So we have red to red, green to green, blue to blue, purple to purple, gold to gold, and finally pink to pink. So but be careful, when we actually subtract, you have to distribute the negative to the second element. You have to be very careful with that minus sign. 
Okay, so I'm going to write this out as 7 minus 3 for minus a negative 6, 5 minus 5, 8 minus 0, negative 2 minus 7, and 8 minus 1. Good. So I'm going to simplify each element. So we have 4 and 10, 0, 8, negative 9, and 7. Okay, now we are going to multiply matrices. So let's first check out the dimensions of our matrices because we have a special rule for multiplying matrices. The first matrix is a 2 by 2 because there are two rows and two columns. So we have our first row is 0, 4, our second row is 5, 2, and our two columns, our first column is 0, 5, and our second column is 4, 2. So rows and columns. Our second matrix is also a 2 by 2, two rows, two columns. When multiplying matrices, before you even start multiplying, the matrices have to have the same two inner numbers. So since both are a 2 and a 2, then our new matrix will result in the size of a 2 by 2. So, um, for example, if you have a 2 by 3 times a 2 by 2, that wouldn't work because the 3 and the 2 Okay, sorry about that. Um, it was accidentally paused, so I'm not really sure where it left off. Just to make sure we understand that the two inside numbers have to be the same, and your resulting matrix will be that size. So our new matrix, when we multiply these two, will be in the size of a 2 by 2. So how do we multiply matrices? I'm going to be honest with you, it's kind of complicated. complicated. <laughs> so <laughs> bear with me. Okay, so we are going to go across the first row, so 0 to 4, multiplied by the first column, negative 4, 8. And then before we move on to the next spot in the matrix, we are going to go across the front row again, and then down the second column. So then we move to the bottom row, we'll go across 5, 2, and then down the first column, negative 4, 8 then across 5, 2 again, then down 1, negative 3. So, let me explain. So, here's our bracket, which is going to show our matrix. You will need a lot of room for these problems. As I said, we're going to start by going across the first row. So I'm going to take the number 0 and multiply it by the first number in the first column, which is negative 4. So look for my colors and see where they match up. Then, I'm not done with this top left corner spot yet. I'm going to add the second number in the first row, which is 4, multiplied by the second number in the first column, which is 8. So now I'm done with my upper left hand corner. Now I'm going to move to the upper right hand corner. I start with my first row again, take the number 0, and multiply it by the number in the second column on the top, which is a 1 add the number 4 again, which is the second number in the first row, multiplied by the bottom number in the second column, which is negative 3. So again, notice my colors. I'm taking the green times the yellow plus the green times the yellow. And then for the second column, I have the green times the orange plus the green times the orange. So now we'll move to the bottom left-hand corner of our resulting matrix. We take the 5, which is the first number in the second row, and multiply it by negative 4, which is the first number in the first column. And then add the number 2, which is the second number in the second row, and multiply it by the 8 in the first column. Now I'm going to move on to my second column, the orange column. So I take the number 5 and multiply it by 1, then I add the number 2 and multiply it by negative 3. So again, let's pay attention to the colors. Blue times yellow plus, I mean, I'm sorry, purple times yellow plus purple times yellow, then purple times orange plus purple times orange. So you go across, then down, across, then down, across, down, across, down. 
So that is our matrix multiplication. So let's do some computation. So 0 times negative 4 is 0, plus 4 times 8, which is 32. 0 times 1, which is 0, plus 4 times negative 3, which is negative 12. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, plus 2 times 8, which is 16. And 5 times 1, which is 5, plus 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. So now let's combine these numbers. 0 plus 32 is 32. 0 plus negative 12 is negative 12. 20 plus negative 16 is negative 4. And, ne and 5 plus negative 6 is negative 1. So that, my friends, is matrix multiplication. Now here's the good news. Hope you have a graphing calculator. Stay tuned for the in-class version of this. Alright, thanks for watching.